I have my brand new Ridge Carbide Tool Company 24 tooth saw blade. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about saw blades next and explain a little bit about the two tooth theory. It'll make more sense, I guarantee it. I'm Rick and this Shut the heck up you stinking boosters. This is the shack. Hello and welcome. Um, in this video, I, I'm having a difficult time, but I'm going to try to explain something to you you really didn't know. You know, people say you want, you want this many tooth blade if you want a rip cut, you want this many tooth blade if you're going to cross cut, uh, you know, if you're going to do melamine and things, you, this many tooth blade. And you know, unless you do a lot of it, you basically just want a general purpose blade that you can do it all because most of the stuff you're going to run through is stock good, but once in a while if you run something thicker, if you're going to make any amount of cutting boards or anything that's going to require thicker than one inch, you would do yourself justice by getting a proper blade because it's going to save you. And let me explain. When I was making my cutting boards, this first project I did on my table saw, there's one of them. I thought that's the best challenge to run some eight quarter lumber through and just see how it performs. It did fantastic. It wouldn't bog down one. I had plenty of power. The problem was I didn't know if I was going too fast or not fast enough because it was getting a little bit of burn. By the time I got to this lovely African I don't know, paddock, paduk, however you want to say it. I'll show a picture. I'm going to insert a picture here. This is what my blade looked like when I got done cutting a 16 and 3 8 length blank that was, I think, six something to seven inches wide. That's it. I don't know if you could see that. I'm going to, I'll try to zoom it in as much as possible. That'll give you a background. Look at all the brown in between the gullets in here. I was wondering why this thing started burning my material. I'm like, dang, it's getting hard to push through. And when I stopped looking at it, look how gunked up this thing is. Look at that there. Look at this. Look at that. That's from the Paduk. That thing is just gunked in here, man. Look at another piece. That sucks, man. So now I know <laughs> I'm cutting that last. And then I have to clean the blade because that thing is just gunky, man. Look at that. It's making the material burn because it's just gunked up all over the blade. And it got that gummed up, that dirty, with just that much lumber, six, seven inches wide. I'm like, dang. I had to take it off and clean it because it was, after I got done with that, I was trying to do some walnut and I noticed it's burning. So I looked at the blade and that's what I found. So I cleaned the thinking my problems are solved. They were not. It wasn't so bad with the walnut, purple heart, but by the time I got to the maple, I had burns almost the whole length. And I was just, I got to get these cut because I wanted to get them glued up and get them done. So I just pushed through it. Had to send them all through the planer one more time, very lightly, just enough to get the burn off. So I went in, sent an email to Ridge Carbide Tool Company explaining the situation and I asked, did I ruin my blade? Well, I got a call. That's pretty dang good. I got a call from the owner. And we talked about it and he explained a two tooth theory. When I went on the internet to get more information on it, there is none. Google it, there is nothing on this two tooth theory. It's actually two point something. I don't know the exacts. Um, but I will do my best to tell you what he told me, what I can remember what he told me. <laughs> um, but basically I was burning my, my, uh, my material because I had too many teeth going through at one time. And I thought just a little bit of that should have been fine. It wasn't my mistake. I actually am going to send in my blade with this one. And I think three more. These are old 
blades that are from my, my uncle's construction company and two blades I have are from my stepfather's cabinet shop. Now I told him they're old, he goes, yeah, no problem, bring them, you know, send them in, we'll, we'll, we'll look at them. If they can be sharpened, we'll do it. If they can't, we'll let you know. Because I don't know how much is left on them because that's what we did in the cabinet shop. We we're constantly going through them, but you're ripping pallets and pallets of sheet goods day in and day out. So you run through the blades very quickly. I want to bring you up. I'm going to show you the best that I can and hopefully explain it the best that I can. So you walk away with a better understanding and hopefully not walk away scratching your head. Hopefully it will make sense and you'll understand you're probably better off having at least two blades in your arsenal, if not three down the road. Depending on what you're going to do, it's good to have a couple extra blades to take care of certain situations. So let me readjust the camera and I'll explain it the best I can, hopefully. Now the two tooth theory. This is, I believe, a 60 tooth blade. So if I'm going to cut something this thick, eight quarter stock lumber, in this demonstration, I'm going to put the material right there at the end of the valley here, right at the gullet. So that's about it right there. So if you look, look how many teeth I got. This one's halfway in, one, two, three, four. This one's just out. So I got one, two, three, four, almost five teeth at one time inside here. That is way too many for a couple of reasons. It's got a longer path to go through while it cuts. As it cuts, it's, the shavings are going inside here and it will plug it up quicker. It won't have enough air to keep cool. It'll be plugged and start generating heat. Way too many teeth. So if I flip this and I'm cutting this now, I got one, two, and this one start and this one exit. This is a good blade for this, which is I think about one inch. So that's what I'm saying. 48 tooth, 60 tooth, you can get away with one inch or thinner stock. If you're going to go even thinner than that, and I'll switch this out, let's say I'm gonna go here and do three eighths. There you go. I got, right there, I have one out, I got one in, almost two in, so I have two teeth in here at once. This is a good blade for three eighths inch material. It is a bad blade for eight quarter, almost two inch thick, because you have way too many teeth. So I'll put that aside and I'll get my brand new ridged carbide tool company blade here and we'll do this again. I'm gonna set that on there because I don't want to ruin it. Now, I get that about, no, depends. I can sometimes go a little bit past the carbide tip. I'll go in, that's so all. Sometimes maybe I'll just go to the end of the gullet there. Let's see if I can see, I can't see there, but right there is good enough. So right there, yeah, that's good. This one's out, got one in, this was the second one in. So I have one, two going in. And depending, if I was that right there, so I got one full one there, one full one, and part of that one. So I said there's a two point something, I forget. But this is the perfect blade for a two inch thick piece of stock, two inch or even three inch. You want 20 to 24 tooth. 24 tooth is perfect for this uh, eight quarter stock. Look at it, I got exactly two teeth in. When that one's just going out, I got the second tooth coming back in. You have all this room as this cutting, it's got all that room going in. Okay, great, perfect, perfect. Cutting all the shaves. This one's out, it's got all that room here for the shaves going that comes out, keeps it cool, it's fine. So that just gives you an understanding exactly what you need. I still have the 48 tooth in the, in the table saw, I gotta take this off, take it out, and I will run some of the stock through, I'll add that in a little bit, but I just wanted you to understand what the theory is of this two point something, I forget what it was, but at least two teeth, if not two and a half, maybe two and a quarter, two point something teeth, 
and your material at any given time. You don't want you don't want three, four, or eight. You want two point. Right there, I got two and one just started. So as this one exit, the other, this one here is just starting to come in. This one exit, that one comes in. Exit comes in. Perfect. So this will work fantastic on my eight quarter lumber. Only thing to do now, switch out this blade and let's run some eight quarter through just to see how it does. definitely learned me something <laughs> at least now I have a blade I can use when I want to cut a quarter lumber I have my general purpose blade that I can run everything else through and when I get these sharpened and back they will be hanging to the sides I think most of them are 60 tooth so if I want to cut some thin stuff I will definitely have a backup for that and maybe even use them on three quarter inch stock if I want just a, a finer cut especially if I'm just running some plywood through I think it should be fine but at least now I have a better understanding as far as this two tooth theory goes I definitely will make sure when I cut my stock just how many teeth are in it at any given time and if I need to I'll just swap it out so that's it on this video I hope it helped in a little way Give you something to think of, maybe maybe even learn something as I did. With that, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, take back check, build it for your sanity. Make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell. We are going to be on a road trip, and I would be going live, so no more of these videos will be coming out for about two weeks till I get back. With that, we will see you next video.